Welcome back guys to another video and today we have some rumors about Ethereum ASIC miners from Bitmain. So Bitmain currently has ASIC miners for Bitcoin, Litecoin and Dash. So this would be a perfect fit for their lineup of ASIC miners, this new Ethereum ASIC miner. So Ethereum is supposed to be ASIC proof, but actually not in case 100% ASIC proof if you have enough engineers, enough money and we are sure that Bitmain currently has them because they have been selling them like hotcakes and they cannot produce enough ASIC miners to meet the demand for them. So they probably have millions and millions of dollars stacked and just waiting to spend them on something and they have, they are spending them on these new Ethereum ASIC miners. So just like Charlie said in his post, I think ASICs are inevitable when the coin is valuable, but that's not a bad thing. Thing. Well, I'm not actually sure if that is a bad thing or not, but this will certainly limit the decentralization of Ethereum mining since the mining farms in China can buy all of them and if they can mine a thousand times better than a GPU, then we are done with the decentralization. And the one more thing is that Ethereum is supposed to go proof of stake instead of proof of work in one year or year and a half, so that will make mining Ethereum impossible. So is this true? Are the ASIC miners really in development? We, we don't know for sure, but the rumors are here. So this new ASIC miner is supposed to come out in Q2 or Q3 of 2018, and that is really, really close to the proof of stake date. So this is why I think it might not be true, and this is just some fake news. But I still wanted to tell you about this news. So this new ASIC miner is supposed to have three main boards, just like the S9 and V9 miners have, and each board is supposed to have six ASIC processors. So ASIC processors are just little chips that can only do ASIC calculations, and this is the only thing they are good for. So if let's say Ethereum changes its proof of work algorithm from ETH to something else like ETH2 or 3, then those miners actually become trash for Ethereum because they cannot do even one calculation per second and the only thing they can do is mine some other ETH coins that still didn't change their proof of work algorithm. But the thing is that it says here something really sketchy that each processor will have 32 1 gigabyte DDR3 modules. And if we multiply 32 by, uh, by 6, we get 192 gigabytes of RAM per one module. And right here it says it will have 72 gigabytes of DRAM memory. So for this mining to have 192 1 gigabyte sticks, it would be really, really expensive to make. And I just don't know why they wouldn't use something like 8 or 16 gigabyte sticks. Probably they have some internal reasons and they know what they are doing. But 192 gigabytes should be correct calculation compared to 72 gigabytes that they have set right here. So if Ethereum really gets ASIC miners, then all of your RX 580s or 480s and all the AMD cards that are currently mining on Ethereum will be actually useless. And this is the same thing that happened to Bitcoin when the first Bitcoin ASIC miners came to the market. All, all of your GPUs that they have been making maybe one, two or three dollars per day have dropped to like one or two cents or nothing at all. So this will actually destroy the decentralization and I hope that this doesn't happen. And if it happens somewhere around the end of Ethereum proof of work, then this is no problem at all because if they can mine like two or three months only with those ASIC miners, then they didn't actually hurt us because if you started mining like a year ago or at least six months ago, you probably paid off all of your GPUs just with Ethereum mining. So let me know what you think about this Ethereum miner and if those news could actually be true or if it's just some fake rumors. So thank you guys for watching and see you soon in another video. Bye.